All right, guys, I am outside of Target. I'm about to go inside with $50 and see how far I can stretch this on groceries. And then I'm gonna do the same thing across the street at Aldi, see which one is a better bang for your buck when it comes to buying groceries. Let's go. Oh, they're making it fancy and new with wood. Wood makes it fancy. All right, we are going to start with produce at Target. An important thing to note is I'm still gonna try to shop how I usually shop, so for like healthy, good for me food. I'm not just gonna go for like the cheapest things. All right, let's see what we got here. Peaches are $1.49 each. That seems kind of expensive. This potato is $1.29 for one potato. None of this produce seems like a good price. I feel like the individual fruit is all more expensive. Like this is $1.29 for one apple. <laughs> that seems like way too much. Okay, $2.69 for strawberries is not that bad of a deal. Let's get some of these. $2.99 for a thing of grapes. They're on sale. Four bucks for this big thing of spinach. That's pretty good, I guess, right, Michael? All right, I am gonna get some tofu because I need it. $2.59. I'm gonna have to check. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. All right, we're gonna take a look at meat, which usually can be pretty expensive. I don't eat a ton of meat, but we usually do have some every week. Michael eats meat. This bacon wrap sirloin was pretty good. <laughs> so here's Purdue. I buy this Purdue ground turkey. Ground chicken, $3.99. That's a better deal than the grocery store. Let's get this. We can make tacos or we can make chili with this. All right. Okay. Sell by August 9th. Then Michael, what, what's the day today? 15th. Yeah, it's August 15th today, so I think we're gonna pass on that. <laughs> gonna pass on that meat. Okay, very important question. Do you think these cookies are trash or are they delicious? Michael? I think these are delicious. These are like heaven. Let us know in the comments, delicious or no-go. I could eat them all. Bacon's always good for BLTs and for breakfast. I mean, $4.49 for some bacon is pretty good. Let's get this one. All right, taking a look at yogurt. They've got the Chibanis for a dollar. That's pretty normal. Their big Chibanis are a pretty good deal at $4.79. I feel like that's cheaper than the grocery store. So that's good. Okay, so we're about $23 right now, which is almost already halfway through our $50. And granted, you know, we're getting healthier options. We got some produce. So let's see what we can get with the rest of this money. See if we can make it stretch a little bit further now that we're out of the produce aisle. All right, here we got a clearance section. Let's see if we can get some steals here. So they've got some soup on sale, 129, but like this is name brand soup, so it's still not that great of a deal even on sale. They've got some disgusting cherry cola Oreos. Is that for real? That somebody opened. Is the eggs on clearance too, you think? Or this is this is kind of a bust here, the clearance section. I'm gonna grab some of this frozen fruit, $4.99 for a big bag of frozen fruit. It's not that bad of, bad of a deal, I feel like. And you can use these for smoothies and stuff. It's got blueberries, raspberries, cherries, pomegranate seeds. It's their in-store brand market pantry, so it's gonna be the cheapest one they have. So let's get this. All right, here we got some canned beans. Now they have name brand, obviously it's gonna be more expensive. They have the market pantry for 69. Honestly, that price doesn't really impress me all that much because you can get the generic store-bought ones like at the grocery store, two for a dollar. So I feel like 69 cents is not that great of a deal. We're inspecting this uh, market pantry pizza. Then. It doesn't look like it's gonna be very delicious. So we're gonna spend the extra $69, $69, $0.69 cents to get Red Baron because I feel like it's worth it to, not have, to not have a cardboard flavoring pizza. They have a better picture and marketing works. <laughs> it's very important, the cheese picture looks better. All right, let's see what we got here. So they have peanut butter, $4.39. Okay, so you can get the market pantry version for $4.39. All right, we got chicken broth here. This is not a very good deal. Even their store-bought store bought one is $1.89. That's not that great of a deal for a box of chicken stock. All right, I feel like for a bag of jasmine rice for $2.09 is not a bad deal. And we do need rice. So, so we're gonna get some whole wheat tortillas. They feel kind of stale. Oh, these ones are better, the flour ones. $1.79. We're gonna get some cheese for quesadillas. They're $2.29. I'm going for the market pan pantry. Brand. What cereal do you want, Michael? Some peanut butter shreds? That looks disgusting. This is all the cereal I didn't grow up with. <laughs> we weren't allowed to have sugary cereal in my house. Sometimes Michael and I talk about our childhood and he tells me about like cookie cereal and I'm like, I didn't even know that was a thing. We didn't have that in my house growing up, but it's a thing, cookie cereal. All right, the real problem about getting your groceries at Target is that there's all this other adorable stuff that's gonna make you spend your money. So even if you get a good deal on the groceries, you're spending all your money on all of this adorable stuff they have. So 
you know, it's a risk. A risk you gotta be willing to take. All right, we are on to Aldi and I'm very curious to see what kind of deals we can get at Aldi because I was kind of disappointed with the Target selection, to be honest. We spent over an hour in there trying to get the best deals for only $50 and it was really hard. They had a lot of name brand stuff, but it wasn't any better deal than the prices I know I can get at the grocery store from what I could tell. And Michael was making the point that maybe Target is not the best place to go for good deals on your groceries. It's more a convenience thing. If you're already in Target because you're getting something else, you can grab some groceries. All right, made it to Aldi, and the first thing I know I need is a quarter because I know you have to pay a quarter for your shopping carts at Aldi. Okay, so we have green grapes here for $1.49. I just bought them at Target for $2.99, so I feel like I kind of just got ripped off. So I wonder if I really got ripped off on these grapes. And uh, the grapes here are not looking all oh, so fresh. Those are looking pretty gross. Not looking so good. How about these mini cucumbers? Mini cucumbers for $1.99. These look pretty good and they look fresh enough. These are a good snack, let's get these. Okay, so here you can get one head of like iceberg lettuce for $1.49 and it looks like not so fresh. How about broccoli? Some broccoli crowns for $1.69. That looks like perfectly good broccoli. Yeah, it's good. Broccoli's good. 49 cents for some white mushrooms, that's a good deal. Okay, something I'm already noticing about Aldi is that a lot of stuff is in smaller packages. So you kind of got to really think about if it's a better deal because it is smaller. All right, we got avocados here. Bag is $2.99. Single avocado is 99 cents which is the same price that it is at my grocery store. So. All right, we need some tomatoes because we're gonna make BLTs. Tomatoes in a bag, I guess. 179, 179 for these tomatoes on the vine. These look pretty good. These eggplants kind of look like they've seen um, better days, better days behind them. Okay, so they have grocery bags here for only 4.99, which is way cheaper. Usually I buy like the name brand because I'm very picky about my garbage bags because I don't like them when they break. But I'm gonna give them a chance. We're gonna get this bag of 40, says it's Force Flex for $4.99. We're gonna see if they're worth it or not. All right, we got some pickles here. I don't know if they're gonna be good or not. I'm gonna have to try them. But these are only $1.29, which is about a dollar cheaper than the cheapest ones at Target. So we're gonna give these a try. So they have simmer sauce here for $1.99. I've never tried this brand, but it says Journey to India, which makes me feel really confident that it's gonna be just like eating real Indian food, except I made it at home. All right, we just got bacon at Target for $4.99. They have bacon here for $3.89, so it's a dollar cheaper, and it almost looks a little better. And then they have the really thick cut bacon, which is usually really expensive, for $5.89. Here's the pizzas. Now we paid how much? $3.69 for our pizza, but it was like a quarter that size. These are huge. These are massive. This one's like a dollar more than the one we just got, but it does look a lot better. Okay, these fiber bars, I don't know about fiber now. I feel like that's a rip off of what's the other one, like fiber one. But I do like keeping these in my office and I'll usually have like a snack one a day because you need to get enough fiber when you're pregnant. So I'll give it a try, 179 is cheaper than fiber one. So I just think it's really funny that like all of their generic brands, they try to make it look so close to the name brand. Like this is obviously supposed to be nature's uh, balance or nature's valley or whatever it is. That's obviously supposed to be fiber one. It's just funny how how close they make it. I feel like one thing I'm noticing about being at Aldi, I feel like I'm getting less healthy things than I usually do if I'm just like regular shopping. I f kind of feel like it's pushing me to buy less healthy stuff. Like for example, right after I said that, I just saw these cookies, peanut butter chocolate filled cookies for $1.45. I wanna put these in my cart, what a deal, I gotta have them, but it's just gonna be more crap in my cart, more crap in my house, I'm gonna eat it. All right, got some canned goods here. These are pretty good deals. They're large canned corn is only 38 cents and the canned peas are only 38 cents all right lots of good like nut options and trail mix these are healthy and the, their prices here are pretty good i mean they're not like amazing but pretty good the, i'm gonna get um one of these like these are good to just like throw in your backpack for 2.99 it's a pretty good deal all right we definitely got a lot more stuff than we did at target so we'll have to take this home and really compare the two and see which was the best deal. Also, here's a plus of Aldi that you didn't get at Target. There's some nice deer over there just hanging out. That's free. You don't have to pay for that. It's called wildlife. All right, we are back from the grocery store. We've got everything unpacked and it's time to decide which one of these stores was better. We have Target over here on this side and we have Aldi over here on this side. So let's talk about these. Let's start with Target. 
Now, in general, I didn't find that Target had that great of deals when it came to their groceries. Well, the prices really were not that great or competitive. I found a lot of the prices to be the same, if not more expensive than my grocery store. So while there were a few select items I could get at Target, for a lower price than I usually spend. The prices were about the same as my local grocery store and in some cases more expensive. I was able to get a good variety of stuff, but in general, I don't feel like I saved a lot of money. The only thing I feel like Target really has going for it on the grocery side is that it's really convenient. Now, on the other side here, I think we can clearly tell just by kind of like looking that I definitely got a lot more at Aldi for my $50 than I did at Target. Let's start with some of the downsides of Aldi. Well, I found that I was putting less healthy options in my cart and the produce section was very hit or miss at Aldi. Um, first being you really had to check the produce because some of it was not good so you're really not saving money if you're gonna buy produce take it home and find out that it's already gone bad. Other thing about some of the produce at Aldi that I noticed was that it may have seemed like a lesser price than at the grocery store, but it was actually a smaller quantity. And then there was some produce that was mixed in there that actually was a good deal and it was good quality. So I just have to say I didn't find produce to be that much of a steal at Aldi. I feel like if you're smart at your local grocery store, you shop sales, you shop in season on your fruits and veggies, you can get better deals at the grocery store if you sort of shop smart about it. Now where Aldi to me really stood out and it was a good deal was a lot of their dry goods. They had a lot of stuff that was way bottom prices like canned vegetables fruits nuts some of the trail mix some of the box mix stuff condiments sauces a lot of the dry goods stuff was a really good deal now I haven't shopped at Aldi in probably eight years so I, pr I can't really speak to their generic brand I don't know if it's as good as name brand if it's sort of equivalent I think that's something I'm gonna have to test um, I think that'd be a really interesting video actually to test the Aldi generic brands against name brand if that's something that you would like to see give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below but overall I could see that Aldi would be a great place to go you know maybe once a month to stock up stock up on some of the dry goods stuff because you definitely are gonna save money on it compared to regular grocery stores so in recap I'm gonna say Target probably won't be buying groceries there again after this experiment because I found that it really was not saving money. Aldi, definitely good for stocking up on certain things. You definitely can save a ton of money compared to pretty much any other grocery store. Other things like the perishables, a little more hit or miss. But that does it for this video. If you would like to see any other comparison videos, maybe going to two other stores with $50 and seeing what we can get at each one, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.